Murray State was treated to a little taste of Dollyville last weekend as students performed Dolly Parton's hit musical 9 to 5 as part of this year's annual production of Campus Lights. Campus Lights, the South's longest running musical entirely produced and performed by students, celebrated its 78th season this year. Campus Lights offers a number of opportunities for those taking part in the annual tradition. I think the thing that everyone gets most out of the Campus Lights production is a sense of achievement for themselves and, and uh, for the university. I've learned a lot about directing and about things that you need to know as a director about a show that I would have never thought you'd have to know. And it's nice to know that you can come together with your colleagues and, and make this happen with no help from faculty or those who are more experienced in it, but you're actually learning while you're doing it. And it's, there's no better way to do it, I think. Phi Mu Alpha Symphonia, Murray State's music fraternity, along with Sigma Alpha Iota, the university's music sorority, are in charge of producing the event. Sarah Arnett, instrumental director, has performed in Campus Lights for the past four years. Her role this year as instrumental director has given her a new perspective on the event. The role is quite different. Um, when you're in the orchestra, you see the person in front of you, they're in charge of everything. They take care of all of the back, behind the scenes uh, information, things that you may not see go on. And whenever you're director, you start to experience all of the different um, aspects of putting on a show that you may not have thought of before that your pit members aren't going to see. So as a director, I see things like, you know, tech and voiceovers and video. You know, as a music director, I have to incorporate all that and make it work with the instrumental uh, students all at the same time, and that's quite difficult. And when you're in the pit, you don't necessarily see uh, that aspect of it. You know, you're more worried about playing and staying with your director. 9 to 5 is a musical based on the 1980 movie of the same name in which three working women, tired of being underappreciated and disrespected at work, conspire to get back at their sexist boss. Ticket sales for the show's three performances on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday were used to raise money for scholarships for future Murray State performers. Besides having no outside help from faculty or staff in the departments of music and theater, those performing in Campus Lights face a number of other obstacles, including a tighter schedule. For Campus Lights, there was a lot less time to do it. We only had three weeks, but with the, with the theater department show, we had about two months, I'd say. It was a lot to put on yourself as an actor to get it get into character in just a couple weeks and start acting with the other other actors and start putting the show together. It was a lot, a lot more stressful. <laughs> Gabrielle Wibbenmeyer, a music education and voice major at Murray State, played the role of Dora Lee, famously portrayed by Dolly Parton. For her, Campus Lights is one of the best traditions on Murray State's campus. For something like this, putting it together in three weeks is insane and I never know how it happens but opening night it just happens and it's a, always a great show but the time frame of putting the show together is really unbelievable so I think that's the biggest difference. We, we can do this like student run like we, it's gone it's, we've done it for so long and we haven't needed the faculty's help and things like that but you know it really keeps this production strong we have that mindset of we can do this by ourselves you know like we can put this show together people will come and see it they'll pay tickets and they'll enjoy it like it's some some years it's hard to not have faculty involved but we still pull it off every year so it's kind of it's inspiring that we can do it by ourselves <laughs>